All right, so we all know Kawhi wants out. He'd like to return home to California. The Lakers have re-engaged in talks yet again. Stephen A., let's start with this. What are you hearing? Well, what I'm hearing is, uh, you know, words leaking out from Kawhi's side of the camp that uh, Kawhi and Greg Popovich uh, spoke again last night. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, obviously, uh, is real salty on the San Antonio Spurs. It's real. Uh, he didn't appreciate getting confronted by the players, uh, questioning the legitimacy of his injuries. As Steven Jackson reported, former champion with the Spurs reported months ago, no way that would have happened without the okay of Greg Popovich. So Greg Popovich had to have a conversation with Kawhi Leonard uh, about some of those concerns as well. Um, and the reality is, is that Kawhi Leonard is just not having fun. The Spurs are an incredibly business-like organization. They're very, very thorough in what they do how they do it. They're very precise. They exercise precision uh, and thoroughness, obviously. And, you know, the, the kind of fun that organizations like the Golden State Warriors and others have, uh, Kawhi, at least according to folks out of his camp, just don't feel that to be the case. Uh, and word has leaked out. He's just not having fun. He just doesn't enjoy being a member of the San Antonio Spurs. Now, here's where the news percolates, Max and Molly. Obviously, he wants to be in L.A., as I reported a couple of days ago, although the Lakers are his preference, he has no qualms about going to the Clippers if the Clippers were able to pull off something. They obviously can't right now because they don't have the pieces necessary. Their goal is to be uh, eligible in free agency next year with enough cap space to go after him. If he had to end up a Clipper just to be back in Los Angeles, he would love to be back in Los Angeles. The Lakers are the preference but he doesn't particularly care hmm. whether it's the Lakers or the Los Angeles Clippers. He just wants to be back in L.A. But Philadelphia has not given up. Philadelphia, Brett Brown, is from the Spurs organization. That's where he made his bones as an assistant coach. He is seen to have a good relationship with Kawhi Leonard. And from what I'm being told, he hasn't given up. He's put his hat in the ring. Markel Fultz could actually be on the table. That's not going to be nearly enough to get a Kawhi Leonard, not just financially but talent-wise. So who knows what other parts that they might have to try and throw in order to get their hands on Kawhi Leonard. But that is where the, start, the, the talks are, are resurfaced with the Los Angeles Lakers because here's what's on the table right now, Max. The Los Angeles Lakers, from what I'm being told, would have to give up Kuzma, and Ingram, possibly a guy like Josh Hart, who the Spurs like, and probably a pick as well. Something like that could possibly have it because what the Spurs have been lamenting as of recently is the fact that now that Kawhi has made it very, very clear that he's just not happy and he wants out and it's become public, can you bring him back into that fold? without it not being a disruptive situation for the San Antonio Spurs to deal with. If they had reservations before about letting him go, they have quelled to some degree because they recognize what a distraction it could be to the team all year long if you kept them around, came in the training camp with them or whatever. So over the next week or so, the San Antonio Spurs are definitely going to listen more strongly. And even though they desperately want to hold on to him and don't want to let him go, they're sort of becoming more resigned to the fact that he's real, real serious about and resolute about wanting to leave San Antonio and depart. But even though it's obviously the preference is to end up in L.A., Philadelphia's not giving up. Brett Brown is trying to get his hands on a star, as he has publicly stated, and he's got his sights on Kawhi. So let's see if Philadelphia is able to make some noise here as well. If you're the Lakers, you give San Antonio whatever they want for Kawhi Leonard. A healthy Kawhi Leonard. Think about the greatest two-way players in the history of basketball, Stephen A., at least in my lifetime. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. Dr. J.? Um, although his prime occurred in the ABA. Um, the truth is, the Dr. J I saw in the NBA, I'd probably take Kawhi over that guy. I wouldn't sit, take him over the ABA guy from everything I understand and from what I've seen. But um, how many other two-way, Scottie Pippen or Kawhi Leonard? I think I'd take Kawhi. A little better offense, a little more efficient offense at least, and the defense is very similar. Um, Kawhi is one of the best two-way wings in the history of basketball, if he's healthy. And the thing about the NBA, of course Ingram and Kuzma have enormous value because they're young and cheap and good. But the thing about the NBA is the winner of almost every trade ever made 
is the team that gets the best player in the deal. This is not the NFL where you need the offensive line and the secondary. And by the way, your defensive tackles. And there's so many things to you need to worry about plugging holes. How many teams we need to get a pass rush? And there are, you know, 11 guys on each side of the ball and weaknesses can be exploited. And so you want kind of in a trade, you want to get back bulk, right? The Herschel Walker deal, whatever. The winner of those trades, not always the team. Frequently not the team that gets the best player in the deal. But the NBA, not that many pieces. And, and you can run all your plays through those guys. They have an enormous influence on the game. And so you look at a guy like Ingram, and if he could ever be one day like almost a Paul George, but not quite, that's great. By the time he gets there, he'll be expensive. In the meantime, he's a, he's a nice player, but he's not a huge impact player. And by the time he becomes one, he's expensive. And the truth is, what's a right little level below Paul George? Call it Oladipo or DeRozan. Guys like that are available every year. You can find a guy like that every year in the NBA if you really want to pay him max dollars. The problem is they're not quite worth it. That's Ingram. Kuzma's a really nice player, but you want to, really nice, and I think he'll get better. But is he ever, either one of these guys, ever going to be Kawhi Leonard? The odds are remote because in the history of the planet Earth, very few players have ever been as good as Kawhi Leonard. And in a league where you pay a premium, the higher you go up, I would pay the premium for Kawhi. I would mm -hmm. take Kawhi Leonard if I could, and nothing else on my team. No cap problems, well, no contracts, nothing. Just give me Kawhi versus most mm -hmm. teams in basketball because that gives you a better chance to win a championship.